smell something funky. Morning, God damn it! This is Mike with Mornings with Mike. I am the host of this fabulous show, Michael Buckeister. A little bit myself. I'm just a normal guy. I like having fun. I like talking. I like interacting with you people. I see we have quite a few following here in the last lately here. So if you are watch us on YouTube Live, welcome. We are live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9.45 on the East Coast. If you are listening to us on Spotify, give us a follow. Share it with your friends. If you are listening to us on iTunes, do the same. Give us a good comment. Give us a rating. Preferably five stars. That would be awesome. But like I said, if you are on YouTube Live today with us, comment, like, even subscribe to the channel. That would be fantastic. All the all the love we can get, the better. So, let's go ahead and jump in today's topic here. We're going to talk about Urban Meyer today, Ohio State head football coach. He has been put on administrative leave. Yes, and yes, I know this is old news. It was uh, a little over a week and a half ago now. Uh, yeah, I, right about fourteen days, fifteen days. This guy was put on administrative leave because of one of his assistant coaches assaulted his wife in 2015. Yes, 2015. Three years ago. It's just now starting to surface. Just now coming out. Why? Who knows? Somebody out for money. Somebody wants some money. Maybe somebody wants some hush money. They get much hush money. Who Who knows? Who really cares? A lot of people care. Urban Meyer has a history of of this stuff. History of cover-ups. History of pushing the players to the brink. Covering things up for the school, etc. But first, before we jump into that, let's give it a little... Let's just give it some background here. Like I had to write, I had to write down some notes here just to uh, make sure we didn't get off topic today, like we did on Friday. Um, Twenty fifteen, Coach uh, Zach Smith, coach with Urban Meyer in Florida, and then and then came up here with to him with Ohio State when he came up. Um, he assaulted his wife back in 2015. I don't remember the exact date i believe it was sometime during the summer summer summertime but it was a, it was it was alleged it was alleged that everybody on the ohio state football staff wives knew knew about this and since the wives knew about it it was kind of of a uh, common sense that the husbands knew as well aka the other coaches other staff members on the ohio state team so with this being said there is a statue put in place in schools called Title IX. Title IX basically refers to the school as a whole. If something is happening at the school, a part of their administrative staff, a part of the football staff, a part of the student body, if something is happening, sexual, drugs, abuse, anything to that effect, the people that know must report that to the administration, to the police. Let them handle it. This is where things get sticky. Supposedly, Urban Meyer did this. Supposedly, he told them back in 2015 when this happened. So why is it now coming out two weeks ago that he never said anything, that he didn't know, that he was, didn't, he just didn't know. So 
let's just uh, kind of move along along with this. I've seen several posts about people saying, well, I'm at work, and if I know one of my coworkers is hitting their old lady, like, am I going get, to get, get fired for this issue? Like, I mean, like, don't ask, don't tell type type thing. Being at a normal job, a normal nine to five job, is different from working from a school. Now, if you worked at a school and you knew that a fellow teacher was beating on their wife, then you would have to follow the Title IX statute. But since you don't, you don't have to follow that statute. Now, as a man, I would be like, hey, man, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you beating, an old, beating your girlfriend, wife, husband, kids, whatever? Like, what is going on? What is this? So, Title IX. Like, this is, this is where Urban Meyer is getting in trend trouble. Is that he did not, allegedly, he did not allegedly tell the authorities, school administration, the police, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just the administrators in general. So he's been put on administrative leave to think about what he's done. But then things start coming out. Things about how Urban Meyer abuses players back in Florida. There's a great YouTube video. I will link it in the description after this is done, after Live Feed is done. It's basically five student athletes from Florida that basically said that Urban Meyer didn't care about them. He abused them. One of them, which had, um, uh, he had something wrong with his shoulder. He had a, he had a disease that was basically eating the muscle and bones in his shoulder. Urban Meyer called him a pussy. Told him to suck it up. You're faking it. You you just don't want to practice. Practice. He would have him hold 45 pounds above his head during practice and walk around while this disease was eating away his shoulder. It turns out that he about died. If finally Urban Meyer gave gave in and said, "Okay, go see the doctor," he had emergency surgery that 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 next day to basically save his life. Ezekiel Elliott, a Ohio State alumni, played with Ur- Urban Meyer. He grabs girls during parades, lifts up their shirts. So it's 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 a common theme of players, of people around Urban Meyer that do this kind of thing. Is this just a coincidence? Possibly. But if you respect the person the way all these people, all these players, all these coaches say they respect Urban Meyer, you're going to act like him. So what is Urban Meyer doing in his spare time? Is he, is he beating his wife? Is he going to strip club, grabbing ladies, showing up, you know, pull, pulling their shirt down, pulling, up, pulling their pants down, etc.? I would say no. But he gives that persona that he is. So... Moving on, week later, August sixth, a couple hundred people hold a pep, a pep, a pep rally, a parade, a, a protest of saying, "Hey, we believe in you, Urban. Take your time off, get this sort of, sort of, sort of, sorted out. Come back, and uh, everything will be gold." But reports are starting to surface that everything's not good. This is the beginning of the end of Urban Meyer. With all this stuff starting to surface, all these people come out and saying things, I feel his t- his days are numbered. He is not coming back off administrative leave, paid leave, by the way. He's getting paid to not do anything right, right now. He will ultimately lose his job. He will ultimately never coach at a major college program again. He may not even coach at a Division two, two level. He might be lucky to get a Division three high school job. Maybe some type of special coordinator in the NFL. But he will never be the head man ever again. This is the beginning of the end of Urban Meyer. Why do you ask? 
because this has been a common theme since he's been a head coach. Florida, before that, Utah, I do believe he was at. I'm not for sure. I didn't have to fact check that. But nonetheless, there's been several instances since 2006 this has gone gone back to. 2006. At what point do we say enough is enough? Answer, answer that question. When is enough and enough? When do we, as a society, make an example of this guy? Maryland coach just came out and pretty much did the same thing. Now, they, they aren't saying this is what he did. This is unacceptable behavior. But at what point, as a society, we say enough is enough? Urban, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you allowing these cocksucking motherfuckers around here beating women? Why are you covering up for them like, just like this? I mean, I mean, obviously he he has been a great coach for you guys. Won several national championships and in, in in Florida. Then you had your heart problems. I put that at Aaron quotes because I feel like after all this stuff was surfacing, he was running from the same exact issue back in Florida. He took a year off to kind of let the stuff simmer down, maybe blow over a little bit. Maybe, maybe the players like, oh, Urban six, so we won't really say anything. Apparently not. It's coming out. Everything's coming out. Are these guys getting paid? Probably. Should you have paid Cor Corden to keep to keep her mouth shut? Probably. But the real question is, why is it just now coming out? If this assault, sorry, alleged assault, I I, I don't know why they're saying alleged. I don't know. I mean. By now, it's got to be gone through the courts and everything. Like so, obviously, he assaulted her. I mean, he had to have by at this point. Uh, when I say at this point, like been proven by this point, I should say, 2015 is when this happened. Why wasn't Zach Smith fired then, or put on some type of probation or leave or war something? Why didn't anything surface? Why didn't anything come out and 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 like until then? Because Urban Meyer is a professional cover up artist. He will sweet stuff off to the side, cover it up. I mean, I hate to say it, but just like Joe Paterno did at Penn State. How long was that going on before, you know, people say that like enough's enough? This is this is what's happening here. Is they're saying enough is enough. We're tired of you covering up. It's time to be a man and just get this stuff taken care of. Like stop coming up for other people. This is, this is, this is your legacy that you're ruining right now. Not Zach Smith. He, he wasn't the head man. He, he is not the, the only reason why we know his name is because you are taking a fall for this urban. That's the only reason why we know this. But as a coach myself, I'm a high school fo fo football coach, defensive coordinator. If you're in the Louisville area, we play Mayo High this Friday night, 7 o'clock, New Albany. Sorry about that. Got a phone call. Had to cancel it out. Not for sure who's calling me, but whatever. It is what it is. Kids nowadays are soft. I, I think this is what this really stems from, is kids nowadays are soft. My head coach over here at Floyd basically said that we have to treat these kids like a sandwich. We need to compliment them, tear them down, and then compliment them again. again. So, Urban's definitely probably an old school coach. I mean, from the reports that I've heard, that's kind of what it is, is he's an old school coach. So, maybe it is just time for him to move on. Maybe it's time for him to tuck his tail between his legs and run away before shit gets worse. Kind of walk away before the fire just engulfs him. If he walks away now, he might be able to salvage some type of legacy that he has and get another high-profile coaching job at a Division One level. Maybe not at like Ohio State or Michigan or 
Florida or whatever, but like he can go into a, a Kentucky and, you know, be successful there for 10, 12 years. Uh, you know, Kansas State, etc. But, I mean, Urban, just follow the sword and take it. Take it like a man. Admit that you are wrong. Don't say, oh, I told him this, this, and this. Don't, don't, don't. Ohio State, don't try to cover his tracks. Urban, don't don't try to backtrack and cover your tracks. Just take the fall, get it over with, and that's it. I don't know what know what else to t- tell you at like at this point. I don't know what else to tell you. But that's just random thoughts of Michael today. Random thoughts, of Buck Nasty. Like comment subscribe tune in Wednesday should be a good show on Wednesday Walmart versus Target we'll just leave it at that tune in Wednesday to find out what's up bye